Hi, I'm Renee Fleming, welcoming you to Healing Breath, a new resource created in partnership with Google Arts and Culture and the Kennedy Center. As with everything involved in your health, you should consult your physician before using these exercises, especially if you are or have been ill. And if you try something and it makes you feel faint, dizzy, or in pain, stop right away. These exercises should feel good and be relaxing for you. My hope is that among these techniques that professional singers depend on, you will find tools to help you breathe more easily, calmly, and fully. So how does breathing work? Well, let's break down the mechanics. You know breathing happens in your lungs, but your diaphragm is what makes this possible. It's the muscle that separates your chest from your abdomen, and it's the second largest muscle in the body. You're probably sitting on the first. In healthy breathing, the diaphragm contracts downward, expanding the space in your lungs, which then fill with air. This simple motion happens involuntarily. So how do singers maximize the process and add to what the diaphragm does automatically to take in more air? Well, I learned to think of it um, as the torso being a barrel that expands all the way around or an inner tube that inflates on all sides. Now, if you ask most people to take a breath, they'll raise their shoulders. We call this clavicular breathing. It's not great for singing. It can cause tension. Then there's belly breathing. So start by releasing your lower belly muscles and let go of that flat stomach, hunch over and forget about how it looks and take a breath. (sighs) Feel that expansion? You're gonna have to loosen your belt and it allows the diaphragm to fully drop down. Ultimately, you can learn to release your abdominal wall and your back muscles and to expand your rib cage, which is where the breathing really happens. And to do this, don't think of sucking in air, but instead just imagine creating space. Nature abhors a vacuum, so the air will fill that space. So think of that barrel expanding in all directions. And you can expand your rib cage all the way around to your back. The muscles connecting each rib to the next are flexible and allow this. So to know how this feels, I'm going to give you an exercise. And we call this balanced breathing. So here's a favorite exercise or a couple of exercises that really help me connect to my breath. Uh, If you have uh, any kind of an exercise band or um, a towel or a back brace, Um, back braces work great. Actually, that's how I learned. My teacher at Juilliard uh, had me purchase one so that I could wear when I was actually exercising and doing all of my singing exercises, the elastic that Velcros on to your waist. So, and we would pull that one down and make sure that everything expands. So I'm going to use exercise bands right now because it's so easy and we have access to them for the most part. So put this around, and what we're trying to do is slow down this breathing process uh, and create a little bit more strength and resistance. So if you put this around your rib cage, uh, right here, um, just in the center, basically, of your torso, and give a little bit of resistance to the bands pulling on them, just a bit, and then you're going to sip in for four counts. (sighs) Out with SH for four counts as well. And you can increase the counts to to as many as you're comfortable with. So let's try one more time uh, and take a breath and You're going to try and extend that a little bit longer, eight counts, 10 counts, 20 counts, whatever you're comfortable with. You want to try and increase the amount of time that you can be inhaling and exhaling. And this will increase your your breath capacity. And so that's why this is a very useful exercise. 
Um, one of my other favorite tools for breathing is the garden variety straw. So we're gonna do the same thing with the straw. Um, basically, this tube is replicating your air tube. So the way that you're taking in air, this is a much smaller, finer tube. So again, you're gonna have resistance and then you'll become a little bit more aware of the process of taking in air. So I'm gonna sip in through the straw again for four counts and then exhale through the straw. Uh, and here we go, one, on, on one, two, three, here we go. I'm gonna do that again. Here's our checklist, shoulders down, which I did not do just now. So try and think of relaxing your shoulders, making sure that you're stable, that you're sitting on your sits bones if you can, but if you can't, however it is that you're seated, that's fine. We're really focused on the lungs. So we're gonna try again, but if you, can, if you can have a nice posture, that's helpful. Okay, here we go. Now, sometimes when I'm exhaling, I'll squeeze the tube just a little bit, squeeze that straw, so we get. A little bit more resistance, but the idea is to increase the number and ultimately you're going to be doing this by having fun, hopefully by singing. So one of the things that helps people connect immediately with another part of this breath capacity issue, which is your back, with opening up and not being tense in your back, is to bend over. So staying seated gives you a little bit more of a connection to the to, and resistance and so that you can feel where this breath, where it goes into, this, the, the, the sense of openness that you want to have all the way around the torso. But if you bend over and you're really deeply bent over, even just this much, frankly, and take a breath, you'll see how much my back expands when I'm doing that. And then exhale and try it again. It's wonderful. You can also feel the rib cage expand. Um, and sometimes I'll have singers put their uh, hands on the rib cage. So same thing, exhaling, starting from an exhale and then inhaling. And you wanna sense that this expands outwards like that. So when you, and the, the exercises for increasing actual breath capacity are gonna be the slow counts. So any of these sort of ideas with a slow count, or the straw, oh, that's wonderful, that feels great. Um, or, uh, or sort of um, just a shh. That sipping is excellent. So inhaling and then a hissing on the way out. So these are all kind of techniques for creating resistance that help you connect with your breath and your breath control. Tis the gift to be free, tis the gift to come down where we are to be. And when we find ourselves in the place just right, to weave the valley of love and delight. When true simplicity is gained, to bow and to bend, we shan't be ashamed to turn. Ourselves in the place just 